Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing Donoghue vs Stevenson. Donoghue, a Scottish dispute, is a famous case in English law which was instrumental in shaping the law of tort and the doctrine of negligence in particular. So let us know the fact of this case. On August 26 in 1928, Mrs. Donoghue's friend bought her a ginger beer from Well Media Cafe in Paisley. She consumed about half of the bottle, which was made of dark opaque glass, when the remainder of the contents was poured into a tumbler. At this point, the decomposed remains of a snail floated out causing her alleged shock and severe gastroenteritis. Mrs. Donaghy wasn't able to claim through breach of warranty of a contract. She wasn't party to any contract. Therefore, she issued proceedings against Stevenson, the manufacturer, which snaked its way up to the House of Lords. So, what was the issues of that case? The question for the House of Lords was if the manufacturer owed Mrs. Donoghue a duty of care in the absence of contractual relations contrary to established case law. Donoghue was effectively a test case to determine if she had a cause of action, not if she was owed compensation for any damages suffered. The law of diligence at the time was very narrow and was invoked only if there was some established contractual relationship. An earlier case involving two children and floating mice held that absent a contract, a manufacturer owed no duty of care to a consumer when putting a product on the market except one. The manufacturer was aware that the product was dangerous because of a defect and it was concealed from the consumer, such as fraud. And two, the product was danger per se and failed to warn the consumer of this. Unlike Mullen, which stopped at the court of session, Mrs. Donoghue took her case to the House of Lords. So finally, what was the decision or the outcome of the case? The House of Lords found for Mrs. Johnny Gue with the leading judgment delivered by Lord Atkin in a 3-2 majority with Buckmaster L and Tomlin L dissenting. The ratio descendanting of the case is not straightforward. Indeed, it could be interpreted as narrow as to establish a duty not to sell opaque bottles of ginger beer containing the decomposed remains of a dead snail to Scottish widows. More broadly, the decision has several components. First, negligence is distinct and separate in tort. Second, there doesn't need to be a contractual relationship for a duty to be established. Third, Manufacturers owe a duty to the consumers who they intend to use their product. However, the primary outcome of Donoghue and what it is best known for is the further development of the neighbor principle by Lord Atkin. So that was for the case and I hope it will help you and if there is any suggestion for this content and if there is a, any query regarding this please comment and let us know thank you for watching